after a fight between Bean and somebody called Lisa Saunders at school, Mm -hmm. uh, Bean is punished, taken to the principal's office. Looked like she was winning the fight, in my opinion. And uh, she's punished for, quote, unseemly language in the vice principal's office. And that is so much, uh, uh, it is a very good example of what's wrong in disciplining kids in school or anywhere else. I I couldn't agree with you more. Bean is a scrapper, and she fights for what she believes in. And when she was told, what you were fighting about doesn't matter, you're not supposed to fight. And she wouldn't she wasn't going to accept that and she spoke back to the principal standing up for what she believed in and that got her in trouble and I've seen this happen time and time again Um, and and that's one of the things that inspired me to write this book is is what what do you do when people who are supposed to be in a position of authority violate that authority or they they seem undeserving of the authority that they have over you are you supposed to just take it on the chin or do you fight back and there's no simple answer because if you fight back there's going to be some damage done, but if you don't fight back, you become a victim. There's a character in, in your book who almost everything he does, particularly in, in relation to these two girls, is outside the bounds. It, but uh, he's, uh-huh. It's good old Jerome Maddox. What a devil. <laughs> but he's, I, I think, very typical in manipulators and bullies in that one of the things that he does is he strips these kids and strips other people as well of their sense of self. He he tests people, and he does it with Bean a couple of times to see if she's the sort of person who stands up for herself. And one time he pushes her a little too far, and Bean goes to her older sister, who she always thought was so wise, and says, what do I do in this situation? And Liz, thinking that she's an adult, but really not having a good understanding of what adults w- might do in that situation, advises her to accommodate him. And this is the this is the moment where one says the real parent the real parent's presence mm-hmm. is sorely needed. Exactly. Kids need that. Being a parent, sticking to it is one of the most important things in the world. Exactly. And this is, and and this story is about one of the consequences when kids do have to take on these adult roles. And uh, because these girls are hiding the fact that they're working for Jerry Maddox from Uncle Tinsley, they just they get in way over their heads.